uh, so washing machines and tumble dryers and uh, fridges irons all uh, laundry essentials there for your, for your home hoovers bag um, cylinder clean these are your old cylinder cleaners back there all the uh, showers old classic solder stream makers up here I'll just take a look at it. Just take a look at this. I just uh, found on the uh, on the bottom right hand page here. This is this is a bit unusual. This this thing here. This was a uh, telephone dial clock. It was a replica of one of the rotary dial telephones up back then. That was five ninety nine. Bit unusual. All the uh, storage systems. There comes there's uh, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger once again, but his uh, with one of his fitness um, equipment. Classic, the Steve Davis posing on the snooker table there. This classic. Uh, oh, this is this is how the uh, this is how the um, lawn mowers used to look like back in the nineteen eighties. The fly mow used to have one of those, and Black and Decker, Qualcast. No other gardening gardening equipment power tools for the uh, DIY. All the camera accessories right here. This 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 is this is an unusual thing here. It's what it look it looks it look it looks like one of one looks looks like one of those old um, taxi meters, doesn't it? This thing here, but it's not. It's actually an in-car fuel computer. But in the, in the it's the Mobile Tech Maximizer in-car fuel computer. Enables you to keep petrol costs at a minimum by providing a continuous digital display of fuel consumption in miles per gallon. <coughs> that's another unusual thing. That's that that's an in-car fuel computer. Also a bit looks a bit less similar to one of those uh, old taxi meters that you, that you see in black cabs. So that was. Twenty nine ninety nine back then. All the baby accessories now. Cameras, small more. more. Cameras, the old 110, uh, the old 110 cameras there. They're one of the Polo old Polaroid Instamatic cameras. And SLR cameras. Old Cinefilm, uh, Cinefilm camera. Projector and, uh, well, projector and screen there. Binoculars, suitcases, all the old um, manual type uh, 
typewriters that were all arranged back in the 1980s. <coughs> Excuse me. All stationary stuff and pens, calculators. These old keyboards here, most of them are here by Casio. And the one there by Yamaha, that was the C801. I remember that one. And most of them are all by Casio. Now this is this is what this now this is what I'm talking about here. Does anybody remember these back from the early 1980s? The old Amstrad Amstrad Tower Systems. This is the actual one here that we had. They comprise it, it the Amstrad TS35 Mark IV rack system which was £169. This is the one we used to have. Used to be a very, very great, used to be a great system that did. And other other models there, the TS90, TS80 and TS88, Amstrad Tower System. Only uh, stereo radio cassette, portable cassette boom boxes, personal stereos once again. Up on the top there. The function um, MIDI Hi-Fi MIDI Hi-Fi systems or what they used to call them music sensors. Very large um, bulky alarm clock radios there. Over on the top here they got um, all the old audio blank cassettes like the TDK D90. Sony, EMI, BASF, uh, Fidelity, Fidelity and Ferguson um, record players, headphones, now the old um, mono cassette recorders, transistor radios, there's one, there's one there, Mr. Men, world band radios, Car stereos with cassette or just radio. Now this is the old um, oh, storage for cassettes. You used, to have, you used to have one of these, which was this one right here, the one with the three drawers here at the bottom, as you can see there. No record cases, and here. It's another classic uh, I used to have, which was this. This uh, this white Ferguson black and white television. I used to have this. I used to have that uh, many years ago. If anybody else remembers it, write and comment. It was only fifty two pound ninety five for that for that uh, television back then. <laughs> You know, to uh, colour televisions, this one, Philips, this Philips one here, as you can see there, my granddad still has that television, which is this one in the middle here, this Philips. He still has it today. Or the old, um, you know, one of Chrome um, televisions here, with a, including one of the. Remember these televisions with these stands here? Video recorders, except for this one, which I'm going to show you. This is our very, very first ever video recorder we, we used to have, which is, this, which is here. This one right here, this was the. This, is, this was our very, very first Amstrad video recorder, which was the old top loader. Amstrad 7000 VHS video which was on a cable operated remote control on a wire remember those so also um, exactly during the day days when also not only VHS but Betamax 
was um, well, the Beta Max wasn't all that very good really the, the uh, super preferred VHS was more popular either um, VHS cleaning kit here what and uh, the old video library cases remember them so well and lots of computers here this is how this is how the, the uh, video gaming computer video gaming used to look like back in the early 80s this is Mattel Aquarius home computer and then they had the uh, Commodore VIC-20 here on the left another one by another old classic one there by Texas Instruments there on the right Intel Vision if anybody remembers those Philips G7000 video computer game there on, the, on the right hand side Um, Atari 2600 now if, if, if anybody's been to um, if, any, if, if anybody like me has been to the uh, what's it recently you know the um, television and photography museum in Bradford these these two here can actually be seen in that museum at the uh, Television and Photography Museum in Bradford, the Vectrex computer game system there, which is on the right, and ColecoVision video game consoles. You can actually see them on display if you go down to the uh, Television and Photography Museum in Bradford, or um, Grandstand uh, video um, tabletop games there. One there of Astro Wars. To get a close up of it so you can see it. This is here. Grandstand Scrabble. Firefox F7. If anybody anybody remembers these, chip down this is a chip down memory lane. The ultimate chip down memory lane this. <coughs> Here we have loads of um, electronic uh, electronic toys here which some of you may remember Tomitronic 3D there on the uh, let's bring it up there Tomitronic 3D there on the left two other two, two other um, Classics here, which I had when I was when I was a kid back then. That was this was one of them, Computer Battleship, and the legendary Big Track, all terrain electronic computerized vehicle. I still have that now, which you may have seen in one of my videos on the um, which was I reviewed back in 2000 and 2011. Made a comeback back in 2011. I've got that. I've still got that big track. Uh, elsewhere, we have electronic learning. There's speak and spell down here at the bottom. And here come is and here's another um, fantastic game I used to have. I remember so well, which is right here. It's called Turbo Tops. If anyone if anyone remembers that. You have to blow through straws until the tops whistle, release and commence fighting. Air it was an air powered fighting tops game. Remember that remember that ever so well. Back in the nineteen eighties back then. And Kong Man there at the top. <clears throat> Other classic more classic games here. There's uh Connect Four. There's um Connect 4 here, Operation, Twister, um, game there based on the uh, Family Fortunes, there's Hangman, there's another classic I used to have there, down here, Downfall.
A couple of more uh, classic ones. There's Action GT Space Attack here. Just right there. Another one I used to have with uh, which you had to match the. Uh, if you, um, we all remember, we, should, we all should remember that one. Action GT's Perfection. You used to have, used to have that low. You used to have a lot of fun with that one. The next up is just all the. Uh, Preschool toys, Lego. <coughs> up at the, up on the uh, top left there is a Dukes of Hazard electric slot racing set. TCR TCR racing. Or the classic Star Wars Return of the Jedi toys here. And the Millennium Falcon, the Attack from Empire Strikes Back. There's the X Wing Fighter and the Snow Speeder from Return of the Jedi. I used to have those. And also, speaking of which, if, 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 I, if I still would have had those toys now, I'm, I, I just feel like kicking myself really because if I had those toys now, I would, have wait, I would have made a fortune because they were very, very rare toys, and I could have, I could have made a mint with them. Masters of the Universe toys there on the, uh, an action force. There's a, uh, the classic um, stunt cyclist here at the bottom, Evil Can Evil. The classic um, Rubik's Cube down here, which was a big, big hit back in the 1980s. Here comes another one, which I remember so well. If anybody else had this, remember this. It was called the. It was like a handheld projector that you could uh, have it on the wall. It was called the Viewmaster Showbeam. Right here. Remember, anybody remember that? All good classic stuff here from uh, days gone by. Etch a sketch. Mr. Frosty and Magda Noodle at the top there. And I used to have this um, scooter. Let me. Uh, let me give it. Give it a little bit of a close up for you. When I was a kid, this uh, Bantel two wheeler scooter here with it, which is right here, this one, I used to have that. <coughs> All the ride on classic um, toys here. Here, the camera can pick it up just just right here in the middle. There's a uh, a soft toy version of um, on on ET, which was an eight and a half centimeter high soft toy version of the film character Orville, just at the top there. Put classic uh, preschool toys there in the middle. I'll just bring the camera up. Now you can see that um, Fisher Price Jack in the Box. That's another old school classic I used to have when I was a baby. And also that, also that Fisher Price record player there that used to play plastic discs with the uh, nursery rhymes. I had that as well. Once again, once again, on the top, on the top left here is the uh, there he is. You can see him just there. 
Excuse me, uh, Major Morgan once again. It's all basic toys for girls, and that's it. That's the uh, and there's a, there's a list of uh, there's a list of stores here. They can just see there. Old, used to be on Oldham Street, which is no longer there anymore now, on the Arndell Centre in Manchester. And that's it, that's the uh, 1983 Argos catalogue. And that's the front cover, how, how it used to look like. I've been Big D Vinyl 2012, and next time I review one of these will be from 1988. Which was uh, run, which was run about, which was forty years ago. From nineteen from autumn and winter nineteen eighty eight. That'll be the next time. So from me, Big D Vinyl twenty twelve. I'll see you again soon.